What is up, Trust Troop? It is Trust to Impress, and I am Biggity B A C K back with another video. Today's video is going to be a vlog video. We are on the road, y'all, to New Orleans, Louisiana. I know it's been some months since I uploaded, but I really, really miss you guys, and I hope that you guys stay tuned for the full vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share out this video. So at this point, y'all, we are pretty much almost there almost to the city the outskirt parts of the city of new orleans louisiana and in traffic the traffic was horrific it reminds me a lot of the traffic in atlanta georgia hey babe so we'll be there in just a couple of minutes and on the way i decided to give myself a little makeover self-love situation so here's my before and after i want to share with you guys how i added a little spice and a little glam to my look and we are now passing the superdome and we're here y'all look at the beautiful city and y'all it was gloomy and rainy the entire time we were there that actually didn't happen the first time we visited but we love this city and we love the food so we still had an amazing time as you can see the traffic is a lot it's a whole situation we're from montgomery alabama so we are not used to a whole lot of traffic especially with people not knowing how to drive so once we finally arrived, we actually were staying with some friends at an Airbnb and it was pretty nice, y'all. So the Airbnb was, I think, a five bedroom and we actually ended up staying in one of the smaller rooms. You can see there's this little library nook that was really cute in the hallway area. I did not show all of the bedrooms, um, but there's another bedroom and there were three more that I don't think that I vlogged. Um, a nice little bar area in the very back of the house with a den slash entertainment style area and a nice spacious patio. I think the patio was actually a shared area amongst some of the other uh, homeowners in that area. But it was very cute. So I'm really feeling the twist. I'm contemplating whether I want to take these down or if I want to just rock the twist today. So basically, y'all... Uh, Y'all know I do the radial flat twist, so all of my twists are going to the outside edges of my head. And while they're drying to keep them out of my face, I just literally tie them in a knot, y'all. Boom. And you have a cute little hairstyle. So, of course, honey, I decided to be cute and untwist my hair. I wish I had actually waited one day to untwist it because the wind... And the humidity turns my cute little twist out into and I don't know what y'all will see later on in the video I mean it was still cute it just was a whole lot going on the last time I visited uh, Louisiana I actually wore a twist out but it wasn't quite as humid and windy so it just turned into a whole new situation okay but for the time being you can see it's really cute baby hairs laid hair slayed let's go Let's see what's in this box. So what was that called already? Bevy, Bevy Seafood. Bevy Seafood. We got the mayo on the side. I'm gonna take that out. It's just getting hot in here. Okay. Spread looks good. Ooh, those shrimpies around. Looking yum yum. so delicious they just want me to bite them yes they do we got some gumbo good old gumbo i can't get the gumbo out so here's the gumbo you got the rice in the bottom oh yeah the lid is coming off a little bit so i gotta be careful it looks good though i can see the spices can y'all see the spices all right y'all so we're riding in the car but i'm about to do first taste Look at it, it's so good. You want to say hey, babe? What up? Ooh, that look good. Mm -hmm. I know this bread is about to be super, like, 
crunchy and crispy. Sound mm. like it. <laughs> but it's like so. It broke it's so, some bones when you bit into that. It's so so. Mm. Is it any good? Mm-hmm. Is it hot? Mm-hmm. I tried my hardest to get that shrimp in my mouth. That was dangling out. It's not like the top most highly seasoned. It's not like that signature Louisiana flavor seasoning, but it's very good, very fresh. The batter is very light. It's not like heavy and greasy. So I know they fried it fast and high. Grease is fresh. Mm-hmm, that's how I like my seafood. Don't y'all hate seafood? When well, you can tell it's time for them to change the grease. Disgusting. It's really good. You're definitely gonna use your mayo. Like it needs some sauce. You put no kind of sauce on there. Mm -mm. Should have asked for some. It just comes with the mayo. Should have asked for some cocktails. It's supposed to come with like an aioli sauce on it. I don't think it said that. She just said. Uh, dressed with lettuce, pickle, tomato, and mayo. <sighs> and I said no mayo or put it on the side, so it's on the side. It's actually still good because the bread is not like it's supposed to put like a remoulade on it. That's what it's supposed to put on it. Yeah, traditional, I thought, was remoulade, but. Me all over the place in this car. <laughs> oh, so Did you get shrimp? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All over the place in this city. I finally got me some seafood. Popeyes here, like if you order shrimp or whatever, it's probably fresh shrimp from this area. I'm not sure. I guess it just depends. Are you turning around right here, too? Okay, y'all, it's a lot going on. So, when I taste the gumbo, I will come back and let you guys know what it tastes like. Okay, I had to wipe down the sides of the container for y'all so you can see everything that's in here. Oh, it's a crab leg in here. That's different. I don't think I've ever ordered gumbo out. Even in Louisiana, they had a crab leg in it. That's the shrimp, the sausage. I know you want that crab leg. And then it's got rice on the bottom. So I'm going to taste the roux first. All right, let's see what it's tasting like. It's good. Once again, it's not giving me like the, the pack pack flavor. Oh, dang, that's a huge crow. You're not scared of people? Yes, not. Oh my god. Y'all, look at this big bird. Did you know that's one of the more intelligent Asian varieties? <laughs> yes. Like and that. aren't they like um um used as symbols of death? Uh, or yeah. mourning? Yeah, so apparently they can remember human faces. What? So if you treat one bad, they'll like they remember, remember you. your face. If you treat them good, you get them some food or something. They're more apt to be more responsive to you. That's crazy, y'all. Sure I have never seen a bird that big and that unfazed that close to me before. What the heck? I think I was covering the mic when you were talking, but I'm not sure. I don't know if it was that one, but when I walked out here earlier, it was a crow fighting with a squirrel. Like, you see him like chasing a squirrel up the tree. Mm -hmm. and he kind of just flew down and just like kind of looked at him. 
crazy. All right, y'all. It is a beautiful morning, and we are on our way to get breakfast. What's the name of the breakfast place? Um, it's like something fast breakfast. Hold on. Fast breakfast. Oh, I'm so hungry. I woke up so hungry. Full blast brunch. Full blast brunch is what we are walking to right now. So it's supposed to be what? Just like one block down? Uh, it's a couple of blocks down. It's about a, about a 10 minute walk. Okay, he tricked me y'all because he was like, oh, it's just right there. Oh, I thought it was. And now we're about to walk uh, 10 minutes. A 10 minute walk? That's a long walk. Not really. It is, but the good thing is it's decent out here. It's not like super hot and humid yet. So that's really, really good. I'm hoping it feels like this all day. It feels bomb out here. Like I could walk around everywhere if it stays like this all day. But anyway, guys, um, we'll come back once we get our food. And ignore this huge pimple on my face. Y'all, after that long walk, we actually decided not to eat at the restaurant that we walked to. We decided to meet our friends for some brunch. I want to say the name of the restaurant was The Black Cat, but it was absolutely amazing. It was so good. I did not want to impose on our friends by vlogging. Um, and I actually also forgot to take pictures of the food because I was so hungry, but the food was amazing. And now we finally made it to the French Quarter. And this artist who y'all just saw on the screen was absolutely amazing. His voice is beautiful. He performs outside of Cafe du Monde for tips. And I wish I could have included the music, but I had to cut it out, unfortunately, um, because it was copyrighted songs. But it was his voice was amazing. So excited you guys we got some beignets from cafe du monde which i didn't get to the get last time that we visited here let's see what they taste like oh he said he don't care oh wait no not even a little we can even let you get in the middle the beignets were so good y'all and this guy right here is actually an amazing street performer he just freestyles about every person who walks by but unfortunately once again he was using copyrighted music so i had to cut the music out but he was fun to watch so we watched him for quite some time and listened to him and walked out to this little um bay area so right over the steps was some water it wasn't anything super super amazing but it was a nice little view a nice little setting for me to sit and enjoy my beignets and we got a nice view of the riverboat and the bridge once again a lot of people i was trying my hardest to find an area where i could be just away from people but people were everywhere uh during this time and then once again i decided to have me a little photo shoot um asked babe to snap a couple of pictures i wish you could see some of the hideous pictures that he snapped of me we are going to work on his picture taking skills hey babe and another picture of us together and i forgot the name of this area but it is also in the french quarter and it had some um historical like civil rights era battle artifacts if you will <laughs> that were out for display that you could read the history about and whatnot but I forgot what the name of this building was that was behind me at the time if you know the build the name of the building or the area drop it in the comments The Tabasco shop is one of Theo's favorites, so of course we had to stop, and I had to stop the music as well. I love to hear the jazz music, but once again, it's copyrighted, so I cannot have it on the video. Let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite hot sauce? Theo's is Tabasco, and I can't eat hot sauce. There is absolutely nothing that you can't add spice to. So let's explore the Tabasco shop.
Oh, they sell the Louisiana brand. So is that part of, is that the same company? Oh no, they sell, they got other brands here. I was wondering if these companies are owned by Tabasco. Like remember how Kel was saying he likes Louisiana hot sauce instead of Tabasco? I was just wondering since it's all sold in this store, it's owned by the same brand. Is it spicy? You know, I love honey. It doesn't say it's spicy. How much is it? Oh, it's 15 bucks. What pepper jelly tastes like? I've never had pepper jelly. Oh, how cute are these purse size Tabascos? So for the hot sauce lovers, you can get one to go in your clutch, literally. Area hot sauce, there you go. Hmm? How many more? I just want like one or two. How much are the, they? You want the green ones? The 89 cent. Um, which one is milder? The green. Yeah, I want the green. Just give me two of those and get you a couple if you want them. So he wants to try this roasted red pepper, y'all. Yes, he is obsessed with the hot sauces he bought from here. Where y'all from? Montgomery, Alabama. Ooh. How close is that to Redneck Riviera, Ernst Beach? Where is that? Ernst Beach, they call it Redneck Riviera. I don't know about oh, that place. That one. That's a new one. <laughs> I did not realize until I was editing that she was saying Orange Beach. Of course I've been there plenty of times. I have never heard Redneck Riviera. We're good. Be right back. <laughs> roasted red pepper sounds good. I guess it's good if you're about to get one. This was a street performer we ran into and I tried to get the best view that I could of what he was doing. Of course, this is in double time, so he was not juggling swords that fast, um, but he was really entertaining to watch. He was stacked on top of a couple of shells and some bottles and a wheelbarrow type situation. I wonder how many years of practice that takes. Amazing. And then also I saw this lovely young lady getting this beautiful caricature done of her. And I love caricatures, y'all. The way that they're able to pull out your best features and make the cartoon look like you, but look absolutely amazing blows my mind. If you can't already tell by the look on my face, I do not like birds. I hate birds. So when I saw this lady in the French Quarter with birds allowing people to take pictures with her parrots, I saw it as a challenge. I wanted to see if I would enjoy doing it and I actually enjoyed it a lot. They are such warm, soft creatures. I thought that their feathers would be hard and cold and prickly, but... I love them. I may get me a parrot, y'all. And of course, it wouldn't be me if I did not get a little bit goofy. So I hope you enjoyed yet another mini photo shoot along the way. And next stop is the gumbo shop, y'all. This food is so good. It is our favorite restaurant. We love the crab cakes and the gumbo from the gumbo shop in the French Quarter. dream come true for me. I love chandeliers. Oh my goodness. 
Y'all, I love chandeliers. I'm just gonna give y'all a quick overview because I actually want to look. So I'm not gonna vlog my whole trip through here, but it looks absolutely amazing, oh my gosh. Now, I said being in this store was a dream come true, but truly having chandeliers throughout my house would be the real dream come true. I absolutely love them. There were so many beautiful antiques throughout this store. And actually, that large lion statue that we passed on the way in was $28,000. If that gives you any type of idea of the price range of the items that were in this store, they did have some smaller chandeliers that were a little bit more affordable or on sale or clearance. But for the most part, this store was completely and totally out of my price range. But you can see how beautiful and breathtaking the lighting is. Okay, y'all, we ordered some seafood, and this is, really, I don't know what this is. I think these are fried oysters, and this is supposed to be our um, crawfish mac, mm -hmm. crawfish mac and cheese. I don't know about this. We'll have to taste it, because it's looking kind of crazy in there. And we have fried food. So we didn't order fried food. They messed up our order and gave us fried food. I do want to taste this fish though. Um, but we ordered the boil. Got the head on shrimp. Where is this? The head off shrimp? They just put anything in here. Oh, that's the head that went on now. Mmm. Taste this. They put Tabasco in that. Y'all, this batter literally tastes like Tabasco sauce. What? That's crazy. And then we got the butter sauces right here. And then the crawfish. You said there's shrimp in here too? Mm -hmm. And corn, potatoes, or no? This is so much food. Corn, potato, sausage. Where does sausage? Is that a sausage? Oh, boo! Big, meaty, claw! <laughs> that is a big sausage. Look at Larry the lobster. That's not a lobster. It's a crawfish. <laughs> That's crazy. This is so much food right now. Okay, y'all. I'm about to taste the mac and cheese. I don't know what to think of it because. I wish we had some scissors for these shrimps. Yeah, that would be nice. I have scissors, but I don't think they're, they're like needle nose. You would have to wash them to use them for that. So, mm. I don't know if you're trying to do all that. All right, so crawfish mac and cheese. I think it's just because it's squished down in there that it looks not appetizing. There's the crawfish. It's okay, but it's giving very much. Stouffer's mac and cheese, which I don't really like. It's not a baked mac and cheese, it's like. Mm. Hospital cafeteria mac and cheese. You want to taste it? Yeah, if you're going to share. Mm. Doing a lot of eating to be criticized. The crawfish is good. Like I just like seafood or anything. Let's be real. Let's taste it. Mm. Very sweet, very spicy. Ooh. The boil is hot. Mmm. Mmm. 
I'm gonna end up eating catfish and mac and cheese. Everything is spicy. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. Okay, what did you get, babe? This is the, the Benedict, the eggs mm -hmm. Benedict? It was like eggs, bacon. It said sausage. I don't see the sausage. Unless it's under the it's egg. It's probably under there. And what's that, a hash brown? This was the jalapeno. Oh, these are grits. Oh, that's the grits, the jalapeno the grits. Chicken, yeah. That's what I was telling you about when I got those shrimp and grits. They brought me a grit patty that was fried, but those look better than what I had. And then he got fried chicken, and then I got the Cajun scramble. So it's shrimp, eggs, cheese, onion, and they put some potatoes under the bottom. Onions. I don't know what else is in there, but it looks good. And then we got orange juice and mango juice. <laughs> Trust Troop, just so you know, that egg performance by my husband was just for you. So I wanted to snap a couple photos outside of Full Blast brunch before we left. And that's all, folks. We are headed out of the city that we are passing the Superdome yet again. And we had an amazing time. Unfortunately, I could not vlog every single thing, but we enjoyed our friends, had fun at game night and all sorts of things. And like I said, it was rainy and gloomy the entire trip. So we couldn't do a whole lot of what we really wanted to do outside. Um, and what we did do outside was in the midst of super strong wind gusts and rain the entire time. Um, but we had a really, really good time. And I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share out this video. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever been to New Orleans, Louisiana, and if you liked it. And if so, tell me what some of your favorite places are because we like to frequent um, this area just to vacation. And we love exploring new places and finding new food that we can try and enjoy. So I will see you guys in the next video. Stop on shoulder ahead. Participation bread winners in the making. Fuck a meeting, we about to have a sit down. Got the bread and then we split it with the click now. Bottle should have killed